What is going on, doggies? Welcome back to another video and welcome to a shelter building survival challenge. All right, let's keep this one short and sweet. Basically, what I want to do is I want to build a survival shelter right now here in Australia. We are coming into winter. It has been pissing down with rain this morning. The nights are freezing cold. Basically, what I want to do is I want to see if we can build a survival shelter keeping ourselves out of the elements, away from the rain, away from the wind, and basically trying to keep ourselves as warm as we possibly can during the night. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put myself into a very shitty, very uncomfortable situation. Basically, I'm gonna build a nice little shelter right here. I've been walking around for quite a while now. I'll show you guys why I've chosen this location, and um, it does look quite good. So we're gonna build a survival shelter as that sun sets this afternoon. What I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna dig a hole in the dirt. I'm gonna bury myself in the soil. So basically, I'm gonna make a coffin. I'm gonna jump into the dirt. I'm gonna cover my whole entire body in sand and soil, and I'm gonna sleep underneath the earth or underneath the sand and the mud for the whole entire night and see if that can keep us dry and warm for the whole entire night. It's gonna be uncomfortable, but this is a, um, this is a challenge that I really, really wanna see if it works or not. Righto, now that the sweeping and the housework is done, it's nice and clean in this area. Basically this right here is where we're gonna build that shelter, right smack bang in the middle there. A very simple, but a very effective shelter is what we're gonna to try to make today. And um, we need one thing and one thing only to get that shelter made. And that is this bad boy here. With this ax, we can just about make anything in the bush. So we've got a beautiful ax here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna head bush and we'll, um, See if we can go get a couple of materials that are right for this shelter. We need two main supports, that's all we need. <laughs> the rest we can use everything else. <laughs> there you go. First fly of the mission. Fly number one. How many flies are we gonna get today? Here we go. We have got the most beautiful piece of wood here. This is basically the whole entire frame. It'll be the stand, it'll be the upright standing piece of wood, and it's gonna be the back spine of this shelter. So this piece of wood that we've got here, I don't know, six meters. It'd be here, it'd be pushing five and a half to six meters long. Weighs a ton, but we ended up getting it back to camp, and um, now what we've got to do is clean it up, cut it in half again. I'm gonna use one side as a spine, like I said, one side as a vertical upstand. Ah, that is bloody beautiful. Look at that. That is a really, really, really nice piece of wood right there. 
All right, that's it. That is the majority of the hard work done. Well, not really, but that is a big chunk of the hard work done. All right, we're gonna start digging some holes and setting up some frames. Oh, look at that, that's snug. That's not going anywhere. Beautiful. All right, the race is on. If you guys can see that behind me, that's a big black cloud over there. There's another massive black one behind the cliffs over there. And um, I reckon it's gonna start raining pretty soon. What I don't want to happen is, is to get the sand in here wet because right now this sand's actually quite dry. And um, I'm actually gonna bury myself in that sand tonight. So what we're gonna try to do is get this shelter up and running so we can keep that sand nice and dry. Oh, here she comes. All right, we're about, I don't know, halfway through building this shelter. It's about, about half of it is 80% is waterproof. The other half is about 10% waterproof right now. And uh, Mother Nature is about to open her legs and piss on us. <laughs> Have a look at this. Look at this big juicy cloud up here. This thing's already spitting rain. And you can see, look at the rain over there, piercing down. She's opening her legs and she's letting it gush. So, um. Hi. What we're gonna have to do is we're just gonna have to take shelter in here and um, just hide up on the corners. These two corners are pretty. These two corners that we've made here are pretty dry. Um, no, not too much water should get into that side there. It's just the back end, but it is what it is. We're just gonna have to sit inside this little shelter and um, stay dry while this rain passes. Look at her. She's about to. That is heavy rain over there, man. That is a whole entire chunk of rain. She's about to piss on us. Here we go. Hey. This is so shit, dude. All right, nothing is going to plan right now. It is raining cats and dogs out there. Um, look at this. I've literally just put this tarp over me and my bag. Like, a little bit of rope there. The bloody axe, the billy. I've literally just had to stick this tarp over us. Um, I had absolutely no time to even try to get it over the shelter. It is pissing down. These are the only clothes that I've got and um, like I said, mate, we're out here for the next 24 hours and I can't I can't afford to get soaking wet, so look at this ready. <laughs> There's our shelter over there. I tried my hardest to get the tarp over it, but just couldn't get it done in time, so hopefully that sand's not too wet inside there. 
I'm just gonna curl up in a ball here, wait for this rain to stop and we'll um we'll keep going. Hey, lucky I brought this thing, I would have been stuffed. Woo -hoo -hoo! It is pissing down right now! <laughs> Look at it man! Alright, I've, I've had no other option but to use a tarp on the roof here to keep us dry. There's still a little bit of water getting in, but um Look mate, this is last resorts. This rain isn't meant to hit till tonight. I was hoping that I'd have a complete shelter set up, but the rain has set in, doggies. You look at this. It is pissing down. What I'm gonna actually do is get me Billy out there, because I want to collect a little bit of this water. Um, I want to collect a little bit, little bit of that water so we can make something special later on, but look at this. We're rained. We're getting rained on. She's here to stay, I reckon. Wow. If I didn't bring this tarp, I would have been absolutely fingered. It's not even put on the tent. It's not even put on the shelter properly. There's no, it's, it's the rain's coming from the north anyway. So we'll be right. Wait for this rain to pass and I'll set this, this um, tarp up properly. Hectic. Oh. All right. That rain came down so heavy. Um, another massive rain cloud over there. Big bad boy over there. Sort of clearing up behind me, but all over there is just big, dirty rain clouds. So, very, very quickly, we're gonna change our, um, change our approach right now. I am not giving up on this mission. I still wanna bury myself alive for the next 12, or for the whole entire night and see if I can stay warm. It is freezing cold right now. It's gonna be a bloody cold night. Thank God I brought this tarp. So what I'm doing with these rocks is I'm tying each corner of the tarp down. Um, we've got no other option. There's no way I'd be able to stay dry in this shelter right now. There is just, it's just impossible to do in this time frame that we've got. So I'm gonna tie these, use these rocks, tie down each corner of the tarp, make sure it's nice and tight. And um, we're gonna do it before this rain comes because it's not, it's not messing around now. Mother nature, she's pissing on us hard. Dude, that absolutely just pissed down just then. That was like torrential rain. So what I've done now is I've had no other option. I've had no choice, but we've got to set up a tarp over this tent or I'm going to get absolutely flogged tonight. And um, like I keep saying, we are not giving up on this mission. We will be sleeping here for the whole entire night. So what I've done is we've set up a tarp over the top of the shelter that we've been building. And um, now it is 100% reinforced. We are, we'll, be able, we'll be able to stay in there beautiful, we'll have a good night tonight now. It's reinforced, there's some big clouds still hanging over us and um, tonight's meant to be some real big rain. So we've got reinforcement, we've got a tarp over the top. Didn't want to use it, but look, you just got to do what you got to do out here. Certain times like this, it's all good. That's going to be nice and dry inside there so we can bury ourselves later on. Hopefully we can keep warm. It is freezing right now, even though I'm wearing jeans. I mean, good old shirt, it is, um, she's bloody cold right now, so it's gonna be a cold one tonight. No fires, not allowed to have a fire, that, that defeats the purpose of this challenge, so. Hey, I'm gonna keep working on this, just keep plodding away, make it a nice little house for the night, and um, we don't have too far off, we're not too far off now, that sun's gonna set, so it's gonna be a bloody interesting night. It's gonna be an uncomfortable night, I'll give you the hot tip. All right, we are at the business end of this challenge right now. What I'm doing is, I'm digging the human coffin for the night and um, sometimes I seriously just stop, I've got to stop and just think to myself, Field Day, where do you get these video ideas, man? Like, I'm actually going to bury myself alive in the dirt for the next 12 hours, or 12 hours is a little bit ambitious. I ain't sleeping for 12 hours, I'll give you the hot tip, but we're going to be sleeping in here for a couple of hours, I reckon. I don't even know if I'll be able to get sleep in here, but we're going to give it a red hot crack and um, this is basically what it looks like right now. I've got just about, oh yeah, that's the size of my body. What I've done is I've dug a trench inside this tent. You can see my whole entire body is underneath the ground level. So basically I want to go down about another 80 mil, 100 mil. And then once that sun goes down and it starts getting really, really bloody cold, what I'm going to do is drag that sand over my body from each side. And we're going to make a little mound of sand over my body. And I'm just going to be pinned here for the whole entire night and see if it actually does keep you warm, because I honestly reckon if you didn't do this tonight, you'd freeze, you'd, you, you wouldn't freeze to death, but holy shit, you'd be cold, man. So, <laughs> let's do it, man, we're doing it. We are doing the human 
burying a human alive to keep warm at night. Who knows, man? I reckon it'll work. The sand is beautiful and dry under here. Look at that. All right, what we're doing down here is I'm just cleaning up a stick, getting the bark, getting all the little bloody bugs and shit off the end of this stick because we've got a beautiful little bit of grub to cook. It is about to start raining, not even joking, that's rain right now. So I've got a gas cooker down here. Come on. Yes, there we go. All right, we've got a little, we've got a little baby gas cooker there. I've got a billy, which is full of that rainwater. I'm gonna chuck that billy straight on there and um, We've got a little baby bit of grub to cook before we jump in the tent. Not even joking, it is about to piss down with rain right now. I'll show you guys what we've got, what we've got for dinner and then um, we're gonna quickly jump inside there. We've got rain coming. Ah. Yes, look at this, man. Couple of noodles cooked in a little bush shelter. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, that's hell good. Listen to the rain on the roof. It's starting to rain again. Man, this rain's on and off. There's a massive, massive cloud right there. That thing looks like it's gonna hold a fair bit of rain. I reckon what we've done now with the tarp over the top of this shelter, we should be pretty good for the night. Like I, I'm sitting way deep in the little shelter right now. We're way away from the entrance. We should be good. Man, these noodles are all time. Mm, nom, nom, nom. I was just thinking just then, I just seen a mosquito like fly through the light of the um, house that we made. I suppose by covering yourself in dirt at night, you're completely eliminating any kind of snake bite, insect bite. Obviously, obviously my head's gonna be above the sand, but like by covering yourself up, you're completely eliminating any kind of animal bites, insect bites, spider bite, snake bite, mozzie bite, sandfly bite, all of those little bastards that live out here in Australia, you're eliminating 90% of them, so. There is an upside to doing this dumbass challenge. I suppose. Woo! It is absolutely pissing down outside right now. And um, man, as soon as that sun goes down, it starts getting pretty chilly, hey? The rains are set in, the sun's completely gone. We've just had a nice feed of noodles and um, we're sitting back in our little homemade bloody shelter. It's pretty sick. It's actually getting quite cold though. It's not time for bed yet. It's too early to be burying myself into the sand. I'm literally just sitting here just enjoying what we've done today. The sound of the rain on the tarp. It's quite nice actually. It's pretty sick. So far, so good. There is no water coming in here whatsoever. It's just getting bloody cold, man.
Oh well, I've been sitting here for quite a while actually. I've just I'm just like literally just sitting here in this hole, just like just relaxing, man. The sound of the birds and the frogs and the bugs outside, the rain on the roof, it's hell nice, but it's actually getting really, really bloody cold. Even this sand that's exposed out here is is actually quite cold right now. So I'm gonna start um burying myself in this little hole here and we'll see if we can keep keep ourselves warm over the duration of the night. Time right now is it's 8.22 at night. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's 8.22. So um, I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to see if I can get some shut eye. I'm actually knackered. I reckon I'll fall asleep. I'm going to use my bag here as a pillow. That's like the perfect spot there. And um, here's that rain again. Look, it doesn't stop raining, man. So lucky we've got this tarp up here. All right, I'm going to start burying myself in the dirt. And um, let's see if this experiment works. What I need to do is I need to actually, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Before we do anything, I need to do this because that's gonna be horrible in the morning. Man, sort your shit out. All right, a couple of things that we need to do is button up my shirt, because that's gonna get sand all through it. Going right up to the neck button. I don't wanna wake up with sand all through me bloody pants. Make sure this is pulled down. Pants over boots. All right, I'm gonna start burying myself in here. All right, here we go. Nature's blanket. <laughs> Nature's blanket is coming in hot. Look at this, man. There is no way I would get cold with this amount of sand on me, eh? We're about to find out, doggies. We're about to find out. Look at this. <clears throat> this is a very, very strange feeling right now. My legs are completely pinned. Look at this, I actually, I actually can't move, man. My legs are completely covered in sand. There's about that much sand over the top of my legs right now. And now what I have to do is lay back like this, grab these two piles of sand on my left and the right, and slowly start piling them up over my chest. That's where I really want to, got to keep it warm, is around my chest, my under my arms, that sort of section. I want that to be a thick pile of sand, and um, I reckon that this is definitely going to keep us warm. I actually, I actually can not move my legs right now. I'm, I'm locked in here. Here we go. There's no turning back now. <laughs> We're way too far in. All right. Tell you what, this is definitely gonna keep me warm. Look at this. This is a little doona, if you've ever seen a doona before. All right, is this, would this even be comfortable? It's actually quite comfortable. It's just really heavy on my legs. Like I can't move there. I cannot move whatsoever right now. I'm actually stuck here. But I definitely, definitely reckon it'll generate, my body warmth will generate heat over time and I won't get cold. Still a heap more sand over there and here, yeah, look. And get it right up here on my chest, just like a doona. All right. All right, I will leave two hands exposed, but that's basically me. I'm completely covered in sand right now in a human coffin. You'd hate to be claustrophobic, wouldn't you? It's actually quite, it's a very, very, very strange feeling. Let's see if we can get a bit more sand from over there.
All right, so right now, I am 100% covered in a massive blanket of sand. Have a go at this. <laughs> Fully covered in sand. You can just see me little boots down there. They're hanging out down there. But I've got a full blanket of sand over me. And um, both hands are exposed. Got the sand up as far as I can get it without breathing it in. And um, tell you what, mate, I reckon this, this would keep you warm in any kind of conditions. Still too early in the night to see. Time is um, 8.44, so it took us a little bit of time to bury ourselves in here, but we're in here and we're in for the long run. Um, there's not really much else I can do right now except to sit here and sleep. I'm going to sleep pretty good, I reckon. Honestly, I reckon I could sleep here fine. We'll see how we go. It's a little bit of a strange feeling. Listen to this, the rain's back. Yeah! Listen to that. It's about to, it's about to piss down! There are some weird noises. I reckon there's kangaroos outside right now, eh? You can hear like, like thud, thud outside. It's still raining. It's been raining for about two hours straight, like flat out raining, two hours non-stop. Strange sounds, man. There's a weird noise coming from like that corner of the, oh, it's not the corner. It's about five, 10 meters away, but so there's definitely something out there in the bush. I just got bitten a couple of times on the back of my hand by a mosquito, which sucks. And um, time check, it is 10, what is that? 10.48 at night. So a little bit of time has passed. I actually dozed off before, like I fully, fully dozed off and then I sort of woke back up when I heard that sound just then, but. Uh, uh, yeah. So far so good, I'm not, I'm actually not cold. And it is quite cold tonight and I'm actually not cold, so. So far so good, it's still raining. All right, I'll check in with you guys when something weird or wacky happens, but this is obviously, this is us still. We're just sitting here, buried in sand. <laughs> it's been raining for like two or two and a half hours flat out. Mosquitoes are smashing, smashing my hands. And um, that's life right now. I'll check in with you guys a little bit later on. I'm gonna try to get some sleep. And um, it is absolutely pissing down right now. Listen to this. <laughs> oh. Boy. What is going on, doggies? It is early, early in the morning. I've actually been sleeping for quite a while. It's getting windy, man. This tarp is whipping around like crazy. 2.15 in the morning. My body is not cold. I'm actually, my arms are freezing cold, but the rest of my body is pretty good. It's not bad at all, really. Couple of mosquitoes. That's right. Oh. Well, good bloody morning to you. <sighs> Oh man, it's currently 7.11, well that's not the time, 7.11 <laughs> in the morning, 7.11 on a Saturday morning, I just woken up in the middle of the bush, it's actually so peaceful, it rained all night, man I'm dying for a piss, that's the one problem when you're stuck in a little place like this, you can't get up. Oh, I'm gonna get out of bed. I'm gonna get out of here. 
<laughs> I'm actually fully stuck in here, bro. Oh. oh, wow, look how dirty I am. Oh, you're kidding. <coughs> oh, look at this. Dust monster. <coughs> oh. oh, man, I'm about to pee my pants. Oh. It is a beautiful day right now. Look at this, dude. Oh. All right. Let's talk about sleeping in the sand. So last night, that was a... Um, first off, it's a very, very bloody weird feeling because you literally can't move. Like the whole entire night, I couldn't move my legs, couldn't move my torso. You're like fully locked in. Um, that's a weird feeling, but to be like 100% fair, to be 100% honest, I actually did get a couple of hours of solid sleep, man. Like, it's kind of comfortable being buried in sand, believe it or not. Like, I was having a good sleep until mozzies would come in and bite me on the back of my hand. And then the wind, random gusts of wind would come, flap the tarp and some super heavy rain. Those three things woke me up every now and then. But to be like 100% honest, I actually did have a pretty bloody good sleep. And the whole reason we're out here to see, does it keep you warm? And I can guarantee you, it does keep you warm from... Where I was buried down, I was extremely warm. My hands were cold, my arms were cold. My Actually, my neck was getting pretty cold last night. But apart from that, it did keep me warm where I was buried. And um, look, I can 100% say if you're stuck out in the bush, you're freezing cold, you've got no means of starting a fire, you can bury yourself and you will be warm at night. That is a given, man. I've just proven it. I've just proven it and that is for sure. So look at this little shelter, man. Today was a, yesterday was a super fun day building this bad boy. That's where we just buried ourselves. This is what the morning's looking like. Hubba, baba, man, look at that. It's a beautiful morning. The only problem that I had last night sleeping in this thing, really, apart from the mosquitoes, the rain and the wind, was um, at about 4.30 this morning. I had to get up, I had to go for a piss, and there was absolutely no way I was getting up for a piss, going back in and reburying myself in the sand. So. That's the only thing, if you need to get up and you're burying yourself like that, well, it's, you're just gonna, it's just going to be a mission to rebury yourself in the sand. But apart from that, doggies, that was a super fun little mission. Successful, man. I was warm. I'm here. I'm alive. And it's bloody cold right now out here. So we did it. We stayed warm overnight. That was the challenge. And um, challenge, mission success, doggies. All right, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like these kind of videos, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And... Um, Yep, I'll see you in the next video. Much love and thank you so much for watching. Super. Let's see if we can get enough water for a coffee from the top of this tarp here. Oh yeah, it's a bit in here. Check this out. This is coffee water right here. Oh, that's a coffee for sure, dude. Easy coffee right there. Yeah, boy. That's coffee water. That's beautiful.